Hey everybody, it's John back again here. And uh, today I got my hands on the Masters Universe Classics King Randor. Now we all know Matic Collector has come and gone. There's still quite a few of these figures that for me, uh, for me to pick up that I don't have yet. And as you can see, a while ago they came in these white shipper boxes instead of the brown ones. And inside... We have King Randor from the way he looked in the cartoon. So this is the more filmation version. There's another one yet where he's uh, in his battle armor. And that's a cool figure too, which hopefully one of these days I'll better get my hands on. He comes with, it looks like a drinking chalice and a spear. Um, he says King Randor, Eternus Palace figure. This comes in that standard box and package, and they all come in. On the back here, it shows a few of the other figures in the line. Um, I miss him at arms, Tila and Webster. Uh, Tila, though, I'll be having pretty soon, thanks to Super 7. And uh, on the back here is the bio for King Randor. If you want to take a moment, pause it, and read that. Otherwise, just give me a second here, and we'll get him out of the package. All right, here we have our King Randor outside of his package. And I have to say right off the bat, man, those color combinations are crazy. They don't look quite as weird on the camera here, but man, he's got some orange legs. This red under under skirt with the yellow highlights. The red top as well, or just spray painted chest that he has there. And his blue, very blue robe. That matches his blue eyes. Um, it does give off quite the Burger King feel. With these huge puffy shoulders that are going to probably mess up with his articulation. Uh, but the face sculpt is very nice. Uh, there you can see his amazingly bushy beard and his eyebrows. He's got his crown on his head. Those nice blue eyes. So there's a lot of detail into that beard. Kind of cool. Um, he also has his uh, this necklace on here. He has this little piece. Uh, and he's kind of a mismatch of the standard figure parts. The um, He-Man, Prince Adam bracelet there. He's got the standard legs. He's got his own little boots on. Kind of, they look like those kind of fantasy elf boots that you would uh, see in different kind of lore and then they just added this piece on to the upper arm and gave him a skirt and uh, he's kind of strange but he looks to part pretty well for your um, Filmation King Randor does have a ball jointed head that goes around and it uh, only goes up to right there and goes down to right there, so there's not a whole lot of up and down movement on there. It's not hinged or anything. It just goes around and has a little bit of wobble to it. And he has hinged shoulders. And go up to about there, and they can go around. As you can see, they're on a ball and hinge. They're pretty tight, which is nice. There's no swivel at all up here, though, so his arm is stuck in this position, which would have been nice if they could have added a little swivel there. Um, but he does have a bend at his elbow and a swivel at the wrist, so he is missing a little bit of articulation compared to the other figures. No bicep swivel. Um, he does have the ab crunch, which, uh, because of his piece here, it only goes a little bit, and you can get him just to move slightly. And he does swivel at the waist. For some reason, mine has a gold. See that? He has a gold jewel on his belly button there. That's a little weird. Uh, other than the swivel, his legs go out not at all, thanks to the skirt piece. They uh, go forward up to about here. You can't even get him sitting down on a throne, which is pretty sad. That's as far as they're going to go. Single bend at the uh, 
the knees that are marked right and left. Never seen that before either. Right and left. And then he has hinges in his feet, kind of. They are super stiff. There it goes. It does move a little bit. And there are no rockers attached to these guys. So he's very basic compared to the rest of the figures in the line. I mean, he'll do the job of looking like your king. Um, he comes with this really nice vac metal chalice here. It's nice and detailed. I can see this being used for many other things. It has some kind of wine-like liquid in there. This is probably the coolest thing that he comes with. Fits in his hand very well. You can just slide it in here, maybe. There we go. So our king is thirsty. And he comes with a spear here. Which is a weird... Kind of yellow, kind of matte gold color. And it should just slide into his hand. Maybe, maybe not. Come on. There we go. There is our King Randor. Very odd. So if you bring in the rest of the family, bring in the wife, or Queen Marlena, you can have them standing with their children, grimacing Prince Adam, and Adora. You know, gotta block her face. There. So there's your royal family. Kind of cool to see them to get all together. Um, I guess the Randor figure works. He's definitely not my favorite by far so far that I've opened up. The head sculpt is really nice. The lack of uh, swivel in his arms is depressing. The fact that you can't really pose him in any way. Um, but the chalice is cool, so if anything, this is probably the coolest piece he comes with, this is his drinking chalice. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this at all, uh, hit that like button, and as always, subscribe for more videos. I'm still hunting these guys down. Um, it's been a challenge for some of them. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.